Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. In the uh, first Timothy chapter four and verse 16, Paul writes to Timothy, he says, watch your life and doctrine closely. Watch your life and doctrine closely. Doctrine, right here, what the word of God teaches. Not this fantasy stuff that the world is trying to abide by. Doctrine, we're talking about the truths that are defined and described in the message of the Bible. That's what we're talking about when we talk about doctrine. The book that many Christians have traded for this fantasy mind. A life that's about having lots of stuff, trading stuff for love. That's so sad. Chasing things that will perish. We worry about trying to get a lot of stuff, and then once we get it, we're worrying about losing it. Oh, my friends, the enemy does not want you to pick up the Bible. He does not want you to read it, to study it, or to know it. He doesn't want it. Watch your life closely and doctrine. Watch your life and doctrine closely. This is important. We're talking about the truths that are defined in the Word of God, not the man-made self-help books that the world is writing. You can't guard against you. You can't guard against uh, doctrine if you never pick up the book. You've got it. You can't guard your life if you don't pick up the book. And a lot of people are not picking up the book. You can't do it if you're not interested in it. And a lot of people are not interested in the Word of God. So many Christians have no interest in God's plan unless. It provides uh, physical things that they want. Stay true to what is right. That's what Paul is the rest of this verse. Watch your life and doctrine closely. Stay true to what is right for, for the sake of your own salvation. My friends, you have to guard your heart for the sake of your own salvation and salvation of those that hear you. People are watching you. They're watching your life. You must guard your life and the doctrine. When I say doctrine, once again, I'm talking about the truths that are defined and described in the message of the Word of God. So many people are abandoning it for self-help books, uh, for trying to get rich and to stay healthy. But you know what? The ultimate decision is made by God. I know a lot of people don't want to believe that. But if you are still here today, it is because of the grace of God. Uh, you know, so many people uh, that's lived a long life and people come to them and they tell them their secrets to how they've lived as long as they have. My friends, if you're still here, it's because God has allowed it. So Second Corinthians, I mean, Second Timothy chapter uh, 2 and verse 15, the Bible says to make every effort to uh, present yourself approved to God. Study. Uh, to be able to rightly divide the truth, my friends. We have to study this book. We want to read this book to start off with. We want to fellowship with other believers. We want to pray to God. The Spirit of God is speaking through His Word. And the Bible is defining and describing the truths. And that's what we want to live by. And this is what Paul says. Watch your life and doctrine closely. My friends, this fantasy mind, this fantasy stuff that this world is coming up with, it will not save you. In the end, you will find yourself living a real nightmare. And it is sad because so many people, and what I think is more sad is so many Christians are so unhappy because they're not following God's word. They're not guarding the doctrine. They're not interested in it. They're looking at these man-made self-help books on how you can be happy, how you can be rich. And it is all a fantasy. I long for the day that we can be with our Lord Jesus Christ. I long for the day that he rules on this earth because then we will have a righteous leader. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we talk more about these things. Thank you.